Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm here with Clemens. Clemens, can you introduce yourself? Hey, my name is Clemens. Um, I'm from the Munich office, have been with NetApp for, I think, six years now. Damn, it's been a pretty long time already. Yeah. So, we are here at VMworld Barcelona. How many VMworlds here have you been to? Actually, this is my second one here. So, I've just been to Inside in Vegas, so I wanted to keep it a little bit on the low this year. <laughs> but, yeah, VMworld, I mean, it's always, I think, a good event to be at. So we hear so much about the transformation between hardware and software. Um, tell me some of your observations early on here. We always hear it's a software software only world. What do, what do you think? I think one interesting thing when I when I walked into this uh, hall here to the Partner Expo, like two years ago when I was here the last time, everybody talked about software defined, and now you walk in two years later and everybody has these huge appliances sitting in their booth, and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? And I think I think it. I thought about it last night a little bit, and I think the conclusion I come to is we are still in this movement of getting from like the old world into the new world. But it takes time. It's not like you start building out your whole IT on white box in one night. I think, and it's a good indication that this is taking time. But we're slowly getting there. I think. Well, a couple questions there. Do you think it is a case where I think as vendors we often want to run, run, run to the bleeding yeah. edge, and customers are are not necessarily right with us that it's a different perspective? And also, what do you think about the difference between U.S. and maybe the international perspective? Do you, have you noticed differences there? Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the buying cycles they don't change fundamentally within like two weeks, right? It <laughs> takes takes a couple of years, even and even if you if you are software based like if you run everything on just pure software i mean it still takes a while to get into the new world right it doesn't fundamentally change even though that guy that might rack put the stuff in the rack is gone right but still it's still it's still a long way to go i think and if you compare to the us especially i think in the us the mentality is getting a little bit more in that in that in that space quicker in Europe, it's probably taking a little bit, a bit, a little bit longer. That's my feeling because people are sometimes a lot more conservative here. Especially, I mean, I'm German. I, I need to be conservative, right? <laughs> well, good point. Good point. Yeah. So, what are some of the examples you're seeing um, within our own world of that transformation to a software, software environment? I think ONTAP, I mean, we've been, NetApp has been the ONTAP company for a very really long time. And um, as we move forward, I mean, some of you might heard about ONTAP Select, which is a ONTAP running in a VM on VMware. Um, and I think in, where was VMworld in, uh, it was also in Vegas, right? A couple of weeks back, we actually announced, not very loudly, but kind of a tech preview of ONTAP Select running on vSAN, which is, I think, a good example for how we can get into the new world but with keeping some of the stuff that we really value from the old world. Because a lot of customers love on tap, and we don't necessarily want to take that away. So that's a good way of bridging into the new world, I think. No, I think that's a great point. Of it's not a, You can't just go rip everything out and do something new, no matter you know, how exciting Bleeding Edge is, that you have to have some translation, if you will. True, true. Exactly, exactly. But on the other hand, I think if you look into the new world, I mean, some people really want to go Bleeding Edge, right? They want to build the new data center. And I think this is why I'm really, really glad that we, that we acquired SolidFire, because you guys exactly enable this, right? And I think together we can actually bring that out to the to the customer and show them how to actually build a cloud-like setup that's really scale out cloud-like. And it might be software defined, it might use appliances, but I think showing the way and then deciding at a certain point in time what's the best solution and make a make a decision, I think that's what we can help with. I, I think that's a great point. Any any last thoughts as we uh, send it back to our viewers? No, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Also, the VMware announcement has been quite quite exciting. And, and I think um, especially the partnership between VMware and AWS, I mean, that's really interesting for our data fabric story, how we integrate all of that. And I'm really excited to actually see what's happening there. We're definitely going to get some more coverage on that. So thank you, Clemens. All right. Thank you, Amy. Bye-bye. Until next time, this is Pop-Up Tech Talks, over and out. <laughs>